Welcome, how's it going? My video today is very, very simple. Um, don't worry. I think nowadays, like, uh, it's easy to worry about every little thing. Tomorrow, the day after, the next year, whatever. It's, it's so easy to worry. And, um, stop. What? Stop doing that. Jesus says in the Bible, do not worry. Uh, don't, you can't add an extra day to your life by worrying, basically. He says, don't worry about what you eat. Don't worry about what you wear. He says, the birds don't worry and they still get fed and they still have places to sleep. You know, seek God, seek his kingdom, seek his righteousness and you, you will get these things. He'll give them to you. I don't know all you guys are Christian, but uh, even without that, you can kind of understand that like it's uh one of the deepest pieces of wisdom ever is simply don't worry it's so simple yes yeah, it's, it's it's really what we need to hear it covers everything and um yeah you know he says do not worry about tomorrow tomorrow worries about itself each day has enough trouble of its own is that not really true is that not so true there is use in thinking stuff through we do have anxiety. We, we have nervous systems for a reason, right? Don't get me wrong. But we add to it. We almost choose. I don't mean we deliberately choose, but like we add something else to it. And um, I'm telling you, man, like stuff just sorts itself out, bruh. Like obviously you have, you can't just lay in your bed all day, but like stuff actually sorts itself out. And like, um, I realized this because I had a year where I was trying to control everything in my life everything i was being dumb i was um you know i was trying to be super smart trying to be super wise like you know trying to work out the exact diet i should eat the exact uh whatever man like uh every single factor of my life i was trying to get it pinpoint and i was worrying and i was worrying and i was on self-improvement and i was like going the next day and thinking like you know if i do this this is going to mess up my motivation for the next day and i was genuinely overthinking every factor you know my life was pretty bad <laughs> back then and the worrying was maybe one of the core reasons why and uh and the one of the times my life got way better was when i just sat back and thought you know what i'm not gonna worry no, I believe in God, so I thought, I'm not going to worry, God's got me. And that that is important to note, right? Because uh, you got to understand, I see the world the way I see it. And uh, I think there's, like, actually a God, like, for real. You know, I, I don't think it's, like, some comforting thing or, like, some, some idea that's, like, grounding me. Like, like I actually think there is. And I think that's important because I believe that, like, um, by not, you know, not having him, basically, there is something missing. And in my experience, that is the only true answer to the constant void and the constant seeking you have in life, right? The constant wanting more, the constant wanting more. Nothing fills it. Yeah, almost all the, well, let's say a lot of Christians I've spoke to have said, believing in God, the God of the Bible, you know, the, the God that Jesus served, that was what? that was what filled them like not like literally nothing and the reason i want to say that is i can say don't worry but i do have a responsibility to, to say what's underneath that for me um but even so even without that worrying's not gonna do you any good and uh i'll tell you this it was a weird thing that happened to me it was one of those moments i couldn't really explain it was like uh feel a bit too much above coincidence and uh you know kind of felt like god was saying something to me and it was um i was really worrying about my eating like all like so much you know i was trying to master my diet blah 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 i was trying to work out you know with the chemicals are in my food and this and that I, I was being dumb like it was stupid overthinking this was like uh two years ago and um and I was trying to work out how much mercury, which is a type of metal, like, is, is pretty bad for you, it's, like, poisonous, I was getting uh, every week or every month or something. I can't remember exactly. I was just being dumb. I was trying to work out, like, how much of this chemical was getting. And I was doing a, a calculation, and uh, I needed, needed a bit of Google. So I Googled 6 over 25. I don't remember what exactly it was, but it was, it was a number per day. And, uh... The first result that came up under the calculator thing was uh, Matthew 6.25, which is a book in the Bible, a Bible verse. And it said, do not worry about what you eat. I believe what it is exactly is, do not worry about your life, what you eat or drink. That was what it said. And then it says, you know, don't worry about your body, what you're wearing. Is not your life more than food 
and your body more than clothes. And uh, say what you want, yeah, but that's pretty mad. <laughs> that's pretty, uh, like, and, and that was, b by the way, before I was like, uh, you know, it was before I'd ever really been reading the Bible, before I'd ever really been praying, uh, before I was properly, you know, believing in God, really. And uh, that happened. And it really felt like, you know, God was saying something to me, you know, like, uh, like, <laughs> you gotta understand, I just, I, that was completely unrelated. I was just Googling these numbers um, to do with my eating. And that, it, that verse happens to be the one that came up. Do not worry about what you eat or drink, basically. And, and the worst part is I didn't even listen to it properly. Like, obviously, I felt a bit bad because, like, I was thinking if God's giving me a sign, like, I got to stop this. But still had the urge to keep doing it, you know. And, uh, like, I, I was worrying more and more about my eating and it was just stupid. Like, crazy that I kept doing it and my life just got worse and worse and worse. And then started getting better when I stopped worrying about this stuff. Like, um, really, like, it, it felt like, looking back, it felt like, bro, I should have just listened to the verse. I should have listened to God, really. I don't think it's good to look for signs in everything. Like, I think uh, if something's from God, you'll kind of, like, you'll kind of know, you know what I mean? You'll kind of, like, uh, it, it, it will at least be clear. It won't be confusing. Um, that's, that's kind of a Christian teaching, is that I would cautiously say clarity is in his nature. And also the Bible says not to interpret omens. Like look for signs like, I don't know, if a book falls off your shelf, like thinking it means something's going to happen. You know, something, something along, along those lines. So just keep that in mind. But uh, the point of this video is don't worry. Your body functions itself. You may feel like you're in the driver's seat, but there's a lot going on beneath in your subconscious. And there's a lot going on above with God or just the wider workings of what's around you. You're kind of just in the middle of that. And uh, it's worth thinking about because like you can spend all this time like worrying about stuff, but like generally like all you need is the basics, you know, all you need is to aim at what you got to aim at. You know what I mean? You got to aim at God or aim at your purpose or do what you got to do. Other stuff will kind of sort itself out. It's not that simple. I'm very much simplifying it. But um, what I'm trying to say is don't worry. It just gets you into loops. What's the point? There's an idea that form follows function. If you just get on with what you have to do, like uh, let's say for me this video, because I was trying to overthink like, you know, what am I gonna say, this, that and that. Uh, but if I just start recording and saying what I actually wanna say, everything else works itself out. Like, uh, you know, I did record this without thinking too much about it and stuff just comes to me. And uh, I believe it is the same with like, whatever you're dealing with, like school or work or this or that or that. Like, uh, you know, gym or this, you kind of know what you have to do. It's, I'm not saying don't think, I'm not saying don't, uh, you know, consider stuff, but there's just something about worrying. That being said, if you're doing something you know is wrong, you should try and stop. <laughs> you should try and turn that into something else. Like, uh, you know, like as far as the self-improvement thing goes, like a lot of people know they kind of shouldn't be watching prawn or porn. Uh, they kind of know they should be going to the gym. They kind of know they shouldn't be like, or like scrolling through TikTok all day or like being really toxic. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to say like, do this, do this, do this. But my, my point is you kind of know what's going wrong. And it's, it is good to have that little thing in your head that turns you away from doing that. But yeah, man, don't worry. Focus, focus on what matters. Focus on what you need to focus on. Focus on your purpose. Uh, and if you're looking for that, I'm telling you, man, God's, God's the truth. I can try and explain it more if, you want, but unfortunately this is a video and not a conversation. So, you know, comment, ask questions if you're wondering. But uh, I, I do genuinely believe this truth. And as I said, the reason I'm saying this is because I think it's the only thing that can fill that gap in you. And uh, I think it's more important now than ever. So yeah, I, I do believe that. I know a lot of people would disagree and it's uh, um, it's not exactly the first, <laughs> it's not exactly the first time in history people have been disagreeing and arguing on that sort of thing. But um yeah, man. Uh, hope you take something good from this. Have a good day. Um, if you want to see some videos from me, leave it in the comments. So catch you later. Don't worry. You don't need to. Peace, peace, peace.